What happens when litter and bulky items get left behind on the sidewalk? The city budget is too tight to take care of it all. Councilman Karen Price said some areas in South LA's District 9 have been neglected for years. You know, when I campaigned, people were really stressed the importance of quality of life, uh, improving the quality of life. We think cleaning up is certainly more than just symbolic, it's, it's necessary. Price leads monthly cleanups where he puts rakes, shovels, and trash bags into the hands of residents. Locals think their help is beneficial in many ways. Cleaning the streets is the first step to bring peace into the neighborhood because uh, a, pe a place that looks clean, the criminals don't, they see that we're united. Some areas need much more than community help. This alley had trash piles more than seven feet tall. The cleanup called for a hazmat team, street services and sanitation bureaus, and a nonprofit called LA Conservation Corps. Buckets of paint, human waste, there's mattresses, couches, just just trash. Just anything you can think of is probably back there. This alley goes all the way from Broadway down to Main Street, but I can't even show you the whole thing because there's just too much trash piled up in the middle to walk through. I'm not wearing the right kinds of shoes, and I've been giving a surgical mask just in case. Gilberto Sanchez has lived next to the alley for four years. The city is now proposing a program that would give extra resources to areas like this. You know, trash we picked up on a regular basis. We some accountability. Our neighbors have a responsibility also. And when uh, that line of communication breaks down, this is the result. Dana Beth Solomon, Los Angeles.